outside of, of uh, brain tumors, can sonophototherapy be an exclusive treatment or, or do you combine it with other things? And then talk about if there's any side effects and what okay. patients feel you know, during and after these treatments. Okay, very good questions. Uh, outside of brain tumors, uh, leukemias, there's no sure. real tumors involved, right? So mm -hmm. we don't use sonophoto. Um, we always combine sonophoto with other therapies because, okay. you know, it's not like when I started treating cancer in 1988 where we gave, you know, B17 coffee mm -hmm. enemas and nutrition and we were doing great. Now, environment is more toxic, you know, humans are more toxic, there's more stress, many factors in our nutritional food chain. Mm -hmm. So it's tougher, right? It's tougher cancer, like, like bugs, like bacteria and other organisms are more resistant too. You know, they have their innate intelligence too, so mm -hmm. they try to bypass many things. So I don't recommend to just do monotherapies in the case of sonophoto, dynamic therapy, or IPT, insulin potentiation therapy, or anything like that. It's always in the contents of a complete systemic program addressing the seven key principles that I mentioned. Okay. Uh, with respect to side effects, you know, if you're doing natural therapies, I don't think that they're side effects. I think they're responses, right? That's a different, because the side effects is when something went wrong. You mm -hmm. took a penicillin, you were allergic to it, you have a side effect. A response is what's happening to the sequential physiological changes from a tumor cell to a more benign tissue. And for this to go on, you have to have swelling, you have to have uh, cellular debris going into your bloodstream and out, you know, and into your colon. Mm -hmm. So as long as we're really detoxing, oxygenating, juicing, maybe rebounding, doing uh, near-infrared saunas to limit the so-called Herzheimer reaction from cancer cell and pathogenic die-off. So um, as a doctor, I understand the question, you know, because even if one out of a thousand patients had a little rash from sonophotodynamic therapy sensitizer, we say that that could be a side effect. Sure. And throughout my six years of doing sonophoto, I think we've had one patient who had a mild rash, and that's when I injected the sensitizer directly into the breast tumor. But it was, you know, temporary, it didn't mm -hmm. affect the treatment. So uh, I guess the answer to your question, Scott, is that uh, we don't see any side effects per se okay. with sonophotodynamic therapy. Okay.